I'm Kurt and this is Here and Now, a comprehensive online course in secular meditation. Today I'm going to be talking about the different ways we can sit for meditation. So it's a big obstacle a lot of people have, aching knees, aching backs, and um, I want to first tell you that it doesn't have to be like this at all. <laughs> so, um, of course, sitting for longer periods of time um, is something that a lot of people struggle with, but um, there are a lot of different ways to do it. And there is not one specific meditative posture that is better than all the others. You know, that's going to make you a better meditator. No. <laughs> the best posture for you, the best position, is the one that offers you the most support and comfort. So, wherever you can find the balance between those two things, that will be the best position for you to sit in to meditate. So, for some inspiration, I'm going to show you some of the different ways you can do this. So, when people go to meditate, often you want to sit on a pillow. Yeah. So, I'm just using some normal sort of flat pillars here, um, or you can get a meditation cushion. This one's from Bodymate, and it's, um, it's really wonderful. I use these in my classes, I have like 10 of these, <laughs> and um, yeah, this is basically filled with some kind of grain, I think it's buckwheat, <laughs> and um, it's nice because <clears throat> it has some flexibility on how um, you can move it around so um, and it's quite high which is really good to start yeah so if you get for and also um, I use a nice thick blanket here on the floor yeah I like to sit on the floor but if sitting on the floor is really a problem you can start in a chair of course um, sitting on the floor tends to offer more support though and especially if you want to meditate for longer periods of time, sitting on a chair can become problematic for different reasons. So, um, put down my blanket, yeah, and I've got now my pillow. I want to make sure that it's kind of slanting forward a bit. And the reason for that is when you have the hips tilting forward, um, it basically straightens you up quite naturally. Yeah? And now, often people will want to start cross-legged like this. Yeah? And there are a few issues here. Basically, um, a lot of your leg is just up in the air. So all the pressure is actually just here where the legs cross over and on the ankles. And you will get numb feet, for sure. So... Um, what I recommend is taking one leg and taking the heel and kind of putting it all the way here, right in the middle, and then taking the other one and lining it up if you can. Now, um, a lot of in the beginning your um, knees might be up like this, so then take some more pillows and just pop them under there and make sure that you're leaning a little bit forward but you never want to put too much pressure on the knees yeah so the main most of your weight should be on your tailbone on your butt yeah? and there you have your first cross-legged position that I would recommend yeah Swing your arms over your head to open the rotator cuffs, the shoulder blades. And then place your hands here, here. You can also, if you want to get your shoulders a bit more back so you're, they're not leaning forward, take another pillow and then place it on top of that pillow. So that is a really comfortable way to meditate. Requires quite a few different pillows. But if you have them, it's a good way to start. The main advantage of becoming more flexible and um, 
relying less on pillows is that you will be less reliant on external factors when you want to meditate. You know, if you're traveling, for example, or um, yeah, you're not always going to have all of these things with you, right? I certainly wouldn't travel with this many pillows. <laughs> so, um, over time, you might start to open up, you know, the hips will start to open up and, you know, these will flatten on the floor. And here you see, like, my whole leg, these, both of these legs are all touching the floor, which means the weight and the pressure is distributed along the entire leg. All right, so this is the first recommendation. Now this does require some hip flexibility. And so if you're really tight in the hips, you can also try a kneeling posture. So again, taking your cushion and putting it here. And we want to kind of sit on it like this. Like, like this. This requires the least hip flexibility and also the least flexibility in the knees. They don't need to flex, basically. Yeah? Again, roll the shoulders and put your hands here or grab a pillow for that extra height there. Yeah? Um, I'll show you this from the side. And the back's always straight, um, or what you feel is straight, and the neck as well. Shoulders are relaxed, looking forward, and meditate. Some people might find it easier to flex the feet outwards. And again, most of our weight is here, yeah, not on the knees. Please, 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 be kind to your knees. Okay, so, here I have a little stool. And we constructed this thing pretty quickly, it's quite easy. So I'll post a link in, um, in the description of um, instructions of how to construct one of these. But it's really just three, well it's actually basically one piece and we cut it in half and then this piece you cut in half at a certain little angle um, and then just screw it in. Um, you can also buy these. Um, I know people also have foldable ones with cushion on the top that you can buy. But um, yeah, this does the trick. And these really, really come in handy during the retreats. <laughs> they really, really um, saved us, at least in the last one. <laughs> so, um, so again, I'm kneeling, I put this here, and this, uh, I don't know if my head's gone out the frame now, but um, that is even, requires even less knee flexibility, and there, there is even less pressure on the knees now. Um, so if you do have problems kneeling, then maybe try one of these. Yeah? Again, from the side. Great, comfortable. Um, if your ankles are hurting from this sort of, yeah, if they're not so flexible, then what you can also do is create a little bit more of an elaborate setup. And again, just create a little kind of a little ledge, a little cliff for them to hang off. And now they're not, they don't need really any flexibility whatsoever. Okay. Now that is comfortable. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. So. That is how you can use a stool to sit in your meditative posture. 
And then there are the more, or the, the postures that require a little bit more flexibility. So of course you can just sit straight on your knees as well. Yeah. Um, yeah, this will require a bit of flexibility and uh, getting used to um, the sensation of just sitting straight on your legs. Um, the other postures you may have seen in yoga, or the typical med meditation postures you may see, um, are the, yeah, the lotus type meditation postures. And so um, I will show you how to get into those as well. I would recommend not using a pillow, and if you're going to use a pillow, then just one thin pillow. Um, simply because if you, you get into these postures using a big pillow, it's going to put um, all kinds of pressures, pressure on your knees. Um, so this is more for sitting just on the floor. Yeah? Um, so, take a leg, take your heel, press it into your bum, and then move the foot along so the top of the foot is on top of your thigh and tucked in where the thigh kind of joins onto the body. Yeah? Okay, then you take the other leg and you may have to experiment which leg uh, works best for you. Yeah? Take the other leg and bring it underneath so that the heel is kind of almost pressing in to where the uh, other thigh joins onto the body. Just like that. Yeah? And again, we want to push our tailbone out a little bit. So we're not doing this, but we're really sitting with the tailbone sticking out. And that will just um, create this natural lumbar curve here, like this in the spine. And again, open up the shoulders and put the hands here or here. Yeah. And this knee might fly up in the beginning, so again, if we need to support it, a little cushion. Yeah. Okay, now this is really stable, this is really supported, and you don't need much at all for this when you get to this level. But it does require that your knee can flex like this. Yeah. It also requires a fair amount of hip flexibility. So. This is almost at a 90 degree angle now. And not everyone is able to do that. So don't be frustrated if you can't do this ever. Um, it's not necessary. Yeah. It's just another way to, to sit. Yeah. Um, and then of course, there is the full lotus where you bring the other foot over. And that is super stable. Yeah but again, requires a lot of flexibility, requires the hips to flex at a 90 degree angle. And yeah, you know, again, it's not necessary. Yeah. Um, we haven't done this one in a little while actually, but you can do cool stuff like this. Woohoo. So, um, yeah, I hope that um, brought a little bit more light into the mys mystery of meditation postures. <laughs> um, you can also lie down, of course, if none of these work, but just be aware that when you go to lie down, the normal habit of the mind is to get ready for sleep. So that is something you may need to retrain. Uh, this will come with time, but also just being really aware that that is going to happen and saying to yourself, I am lying down to meditate, you know, um, or my body will fall asleep, but my mind will stay awake. You know? um, this, this thing can be a really comfortable meditation posture as well. Um, but I would absolutely, if you can, recommend sitting first. Yeah? Um, okay, I think that's it. So, um, if anyone has any um, other experiences with any different kinds of, different ways of sitting, um, or has any difficulties, then please let me know in the comments. I hope this video was helpful um, and thank you so much for watching and thank you for helping me build this community. Let's do this together and uh, yeah, see you soon.